Hey guys, what's up? This is Nathan from the Gen Z Biker Blog. I'm here today in Venice, Italy. We're here for Carnival. I'm super excited to see what Venice is all about. So we're gonna be spending one night in a hostel, uh, not on the island actually. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what we're gonna do this weekend and uh, I'll also be giving some prices. Stay tuned and let's go. So I arrived in Venice by train from Milan, Italy, which cost me about $35. Upon leaving the train station, you'll be greeted by one of Venice's major canals and tons of people. Now that you've made it here, your first step is to find yourself a carnival mask. You can find a mask for two for 16 US dollars at many of the street vendors, but if you want a nicer mask, stop into one of the mask stores, like this one here, and be prepared to spend upwards of 35 US dollars. So after you've gotten your mask, make sure to stop by one of the local bakeries and get some nice tasty treats or stop by Nino. Thank you. And don't forget to stop by any one of the many truffle shops or even take a smoothie shot while you're at it. Just minutes down the road, you'll run into your first attraction known as the Rialto Bridge. Built in 1591, its predecessor was actually built from wood and burnt down. While the Rialto Bridge is great, one of Venice's more famous attractions is just seven minutes away, and it's known as St. Mark Square. St. Mark Square actually used to be um, an orchard with fruit trees in 828 AD, but then was paved over. Now, St. Mark's Square is home to a bunch of cool different things, including the big tower that you see in the center, which has great sweeping views of the city, as well as Doge's Palace. Doge's Palace is one thing that I did get a chance to go into. That said, I unfortunately did not get a chance to go into one of the most beautiful churches in the city of Venice, as you see here. So we are currently at Doge's Palace. This is right on the water. Um, it's apparently where the king used to live and uh, there was also a jail here. Now outside of Dodge's palace, right in the square, is where they did executions of prisoners back in the day. So it's pretty cool. We're going to walk through, take a tour overall um, to get into the museum uh, and the palace or with a student card. It was 13 euros to get in. I think without the discount it would be about 20 euros. So as you can see, it's just some beautiful architecture within this courtyard of Dodge's Palace. And the intricacies of this stonework are absolutely incredible. Now once you enter the main doors of the palace, you're going to have to pay an extra $5 to get into this art exhibit. But you're going to be surrounded by paintings from the 1600s and uh, later, as well as these elaborate paintings on all of the walls and ceilings of the palace. You're also going to find yourself in front of tons of weaponry from the early ages. Now overall it's going to take you about an hour or two to get through this museum if you look at everything. So make sure to stop after the museum and get some lunch. Alright, Nick, give us a rundown of our lunch. Uh, tell me what you thought. One out of ten, what would you rate it? One out of ten, I'm giving it a solid 7.8, and that's generous. Um, 14, no, an overall cost of what? 18 euro? 18 euro. 18 for euro lunch. for a three course meal. The salad was pretty good. Steak was shit. Uh, pasta was pretty good. All right. All right, so we are now on our way to our hostel, which is not on the main island of Venice, um, but we are gonna make our way over there. We are gonna be taking a bus, which is apparently, I think, like three and a half to four euros. And then the hostel that we booked, because of the nature of this weekend being Carnival, um, being almost like a holiday, um, it was $29 a night per person for our hostel. Um, so that's not too bad. Uh, we have a private room shared between four people. So not too bad. 
All right, so we're finally back. We made it to the hostel. We got a nice bite to eat, uh, as you saw um, above here right now. And uh, now I'm gonna give you a little tour of the room. This hostel was coming in with all the taxes, fees, linens, and all that. Um, keep in mind, during the weekend of Carnival, uh, it came in at about $36, or 36 euros total, which is a little bit pricier than it should be, but like I said, it's during Carnival, normally it would be cheaper. Um, and this is essentially a, a legit hotel. Um, we've got our own private room, split between four people, there's two bunk beds, and there's a really nice common area downstairs, it's a very clean place. All right, so this is day two of my weekend in Venice. We're ready to go. We're going to Burano Island, which is the island famous for glass making. Um, we're gonna take a look around that island, and then from there we're gonna go to make our way back to Milan. All right, so like I said, we're on our way to Murano. It's a, we bought this round trip pass. It's a water bus pass. It was 15 euros, or you can do for a day pass. If you're gonna be doing it multiple different trips, it's 20 euros. So if you're looking to eat while on the island of Murano, be prepared to be spending a little bit more money than you might have planned uh, when coming to Venice. Um, because of the fact that it is an island, food is a little bit more expensive here, um, but we were lucky enough to talk to one of the locals, um, one of our friends speaks Italian, so she asked one of the locals a good place to go, um, and we were able to find more of like a local's place. Um, if you go on the actual canal, um, and eat outside with a good view, you should be prepared to spend about 25 euros for a small portion for lunch. Uh, we ended up spending, I think, 20 euros for a huge portion of lunch. It was great food, great quality. Um, we're gonna head around, walk around the, the area now, just take some pictures, find some glass sculptures, and then we're gonna head back to Venice. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it. Um, we discovered the first glass sculpture. I think this might be the only one that's up right now, but it's a glass Christmas tree. It's pretty cool. What's up, Nick? We uh, just took some pictures with some of the carnival dressed people. It was a great time. Um, it's been honestly a great day overall. So unfortunately we did not get a chance to get up to the tower. Uh, we kind of got lost in the city, which is one of the things I wanted to tell you guys about, is that Venice is a very hard place to navigate. Um, Google Maps does not really work all that well when you're in Venice because the streets are so small. 
but that's one thing to keep in mind give yourself uh, a little bit extra time for travel um, even if you're a fast walker allow yourself some extra time um, make sure to allow yourself time travel tip one, number one for Venice uh, if you wanted to do this trip you could probably do Venice in a day if you have everything planned out uh, hour by hour and you have the city mapped out but if you're looking to just kind of take it easy and walk around make it a two-day trip uh, if you do a two-day trip you can also spend one day doing the two islands Murano which is known for its glass making and then Verano, which is known for its lace. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. 